So dear friends, in our today's video, we are going to be having a matchmaking show. And our single lady of today, who is searching for her perfect match, goes by the name of Lloyd from Namibia, the land of braves, in her early 40s. So dear friends, before I continue telling you more or giving you more information about Lloyd, it is good for us to see her beautiful photos so that you guys get to know whom we are talking about how she looks like <laughs> so guys welcome and enjoy so guys after seeing her beautiful photos now let me take you to a bit of her life background so guys Lloyd was born and raised in namibia like i told you and tells us her love for education started at an early age she pursued her passion and earned a bachelor's degree in education and a bachelor's degree in business administration with a focus on teaching commercial subjects in secondary education she is the person that likes encouraging students to study hard so they become better people in future she teach disadvantages community and outside of the classroom enjoys to spend good time with friends and family tells us being a teacher requires dedication and commitment but it's essential to find balance between work and personal life she cherished the moments shared with the loved ones, engaging in activities like hiking and game nights. These experiences bring joy, relaxation, and an opportunity to recharge. She also adds that, as an educator, believes in the power of continued learning and professional growth. So guys, now let's go to Lloyd's Love Life get to know a bit of her past love relationship experience if she ever had one <laughs> so Lloyd tells us yes was in a relationship before with an Namibian guy they fell in love all was good and even the guy that she was dating wanted to make things serious at that time but sadly when this guy wanted to make things serious Lloyd was not ready because she was still young so eventually they decided to just end the relationship and after that relationship ended Lloyd went into another relationship with a Namibian guy they dated all was good but later on this guy left her for another woman and even married another woman. Lloyd felt very sad, disappointed, frustrated. So after this second guy went married another woman, what Lloyd did with all the disappointment, decided to jump into another relationship without healing. Stayed into that relationship, but later on in 2020, Lloyd realized that she made a mistake to jump into a new relationship without healing from the past one and that's when decided to end it so when lloyd's third relationship ended decided to take a break took time to understand herself better explore her wants needs and aspirations both in a relationship and in other aspects of life so what lloyd has learned from being single is that it has helped her or allowed her to create a very strong sense of independence and self-reliance. It has also helped her to cherish her own company, create a fulfilling lifestyle, and make decisions that align with her personal values and aspirations. And while she is not into a relationship now, she focused mostly into her hobbies and community involvement. She has learned to be patient and trust that the right person will come into her life when the time is right. She also believes that love can be found at any age, 
which is what I believe too. And you too that is watching this video or this matchmaking show now, you should believe the same. You can find love at any age, no matter your age, whether you are in your 30s, whether you are in your 40s, your 50s, your 60s, you can still find love. I'm not saying this to only give you encouragement or give you hope. No, it's true. You can find love at any age. I've witnessed lots of ladies in their 40s, in their 50s, even in 60s, finding love. So why not you, dear sister, stop self-criticizing yourself because of the age? So yes, guys, Lloyd believes that you can find love at any age and also is hopeful that the future holds exciting possibilities in the realm of romance. And at this stage, she embraces this stage of life with enthusiasm, knowing that the journey towards finding love is unique for everyone and the right path will reveal itself in due course. So dear friends, like I told you before, when I started this matchmaking show is that most ladies that I bring here are also on online dating apps or have been on online dating apps chatting. So Lloyd tells us her challenge is to find love when it comes to online dating. And with this one, I am going to read exactly what she responded. So, finding love online can come with some of the common challenges include 1. I just found out that online dating can make it easier for people to create fake profiles or mispresent themselves. It can be difficult to determine if someone is genuine or if they have ulterior motives. 2. Or her second challenge on online dating apps, in most cases, it can be challenging to fully understand someone's personality, intentions, or emotions through written. Number three, or challenge number three, it can be challenging to navigate through numerous profiles and find someone who aligns with my values and interests. So now let's go to her challenges to find love in real life. Why Loide has been on online dating apps searching and why she decided to give me her profile to put it here on YouTube. So she tells us meeting potential partners in real life, it has been very challenging due to that she has got a very small social circle plus she is a teacher and works in remote areas. Loide's challenge number two to find love in real life tells us it has been really challenging for her to find someone that shares same interests, same values, and same goals in real life, especially in her area where she is now. Lloyd's last challenge to find love in real life tells us overcoming past baggage and building emotional resilience was also a challenge when seeking for love in real life. So friends, one of the most important questions that I asked Lloyd was, what is love? Define for us what is love or tell a guy that is watching the matchmaking show, how do you define love? And this is her response guys. I'm going to be reading for you again. How I define love. Love to me is a deep affection, attachment, or feeling emotional connection towards someone or something. It involves care, compassion, selflessness, and a desire for the well-being and happiness of the loved one. Love can be expressed in various forms, such as romantic love, familial love, platonic love, or even love for object, ideas, or activities. It often involves a sense of intimacy, trust, and willingness to sacrifice for the sake of the loved one. Love is a complex and multifaceted emotion that can bring joy, fulfillment, and a sense of purpose to one's life. Wow. So I asked Lloyd if she is interested in interracial dating, and her response was, yes, Bella, I am interested in interracial dating, 
and I actually wanted this even before I started my first relationship but I did not know how to go about it and after all these disappointments of my past love relationship experience I decided to go for what I want since my childhood which is being in an interracial relationship so is Lloyde willing to relocate to another country if she finds the perfect match <laughs> her response is yes she is willing to relocate so guys to the matter of religion <laughs> Lloyd tells us will be happy if her match knows that God exists as long as you know that God exists you are good to go but you shouldn't be a Muslim so guys to things that Lloyd cannot tolerate in a relationship and again here we go i am going to be showing you what she responded as i read with you there are some common qualities or behaviors that i as a woman may find difficult to tolerate in a man these can include number one lack of respect number two dishonesty and lack of trustworthiness number three lack of communication or emotional unavailability number four i may find it challenging to tolerate a man who exhibits controlling or possessive behavior as it can be detrimental to my sense of independence and freedom number five a man who lacks ambition or shows a lack of motivation may be difficult for me to tolerate number six a man who consistently avoids taking responsibility for his actions or refuses to apologize for his mistakes may be challenging for me to tolerate as it can hinder effective conflict resolution and growth in relationship she adds to me effective communication understanding between partner are key to navigating and addressing any challenge that may arise in a relationship so guys to her characteristics today's matchmaking show is kind different i am reading for you guys because when you read things get into your mind you get to understand better than me narrating everything you know <laughs> so let's get to know her character so number one of her character i am someone who easily understands and able to connect emotionally with others i am empathetic towards feelings and experiences and shows compassion and support when needed number two about her character i always try to be honest and trustworthy i try to be true to my word and can be relied upon number three about her character i am effective communicator i am able to express my thoughts and feelings clearly and respectfully i always try to listen attentively to others upon to different perspectives number four about her character i think here she wanted to say i try so i try to be resilient in the face of challenges and setbacks i am determined and perseveres through difficult times i try always to learn from failures and uses them as opportunities for growth this is good so lastly about Lloyd's character i am confident in myself and abilities i believe in my own worth and encourages others to believe in themselves too so to her ideal man all the things that she would like to see in her ideal man her ideal partner <laughs> yeah so let me keep on reading for you there are some qualities that i as a woman commonly appreciate in a partner number one i often value a man who treats them and others with respect kindness and empathy number two a man who can listen attentively express himself clearly and engage in open and honest communication is often appreciated by me number three i as a woman often value a man who is honest and can be counted on to keep commitments and promises number four i often appreciate a partner 
who is supportive of their goals, dreams, and aspirations. A man who can show care, understanding, and offers emotional support can be highly valued. Number five, I appreciate a man who can make them laugh and share enjoyable moments together. Number six, a man who has goals, aspiration, and works towards them can be attractive. Number six, often I appreciate a man with whom they can share meaningful experiences and build a life together. So guys, quickly to Lloyd's expectations in a relationship or in a man or in her perfect match. <laughs> Let's find out guys. So guys, Lloyd responds like this about her expectations. My common expectations in a relationship. Number one, emotional connection and support. Number two, expect my partner to be loyal, honest, trustworthy, both in terms of fidelity and keeping their word. Very important. Number three, expect my partner to be a good listener, engage in open and honest communication, express their thoughts and feelings. Number four, expect to be treated with respect and equality in a relationship. I want to be valued for my opinions, choices, contributions, and I expect my partner to respect my boundaries and autonomy. Number five, I expect to spend meaningful moments together, engage in shared activities, and create lasting memories. Number six, as a woman, I often appreciate a partner who supports my personal growth, aspirations, and goals. I expect encouragement, motivation, and a partner who celebrates my achievement. Something else that is very, very important for you to know about Lloyd are her best qualities as a woman. And Lloyd gave us an answer on that <laughs> so that it can help you understand better if Lloyd is your perfect match or not. And before I forget, guys, if Lloyd is your perfect match, according to how she has explained herself, then please do not hesitate to check me out on Instagram at African Bella and on Facebook, on my Facebook page, follow me there at African Bella The Real Talk so that we can talk and I get to see if it's true, <laughs> Lloyd is your perfect match. And if yes, she is your perfect match, then I'm going to match you guys. Then you begin your love journey. So let's go to her best qualities as a woman. Here are some qualities that I have. One, empathy and compassion. Two, intelligence and wisdom. Three, independence and resilience. Four, integrity and honesty, five, sense of humor, six, supportive and nurturing, seven, ambition and determination. So to the countries of her preference, where Lloyd wants her match to come from, tells us would like her match to come from these countries, Australia, Sweden, Italy, Switzerland, Canada, USA, Poland, Norway, and Germany. But again, to add on these countries, if you are not in the mentioned countries and you feel like Lloyd is your perfect match, do not hesitate to check me out on Instagram at African Bella and on my Facebook page at African Bella The Will Talk. Do not worry at all. Important, you are a perfect match, then everything is gonna flow. <laughs> so guys to the age range because i know if you are a single guy watching this you would like to know the age range that lloyd is looking at so lloyd tells us the age range that she is looking at is from 45 to 48 years old is she willing to have kids yes because lloyd has never had kids so you should be a guy that is willing to have kids or have more kids. And guys, before I end this video, I would like to wish my beautiful sister Lloyd best of luck in her search 
for the perfect match. And you too who is watching this video, maybe you are not a single guy, <laughs> you are a lady searching too. Let us wish our beautiful sister Lloyde best of luck in her search for that perfect match. So guys, you who have watched this video till now, I really appreciate much. Thank you so much. May God bless you. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. If you know someone who is single, <laughs> is a single guy, maybe your brother, your brother-in-law, your cousin, your nephew, <laughs> and is in that age range, please share this video with him. It will be of a big help. And who knows, he might be Lloyd's match. Perfect match. <laughs> Yes, guys, so give this video a thumbs up if you have liked it, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too, they are super good. Comment below what you think about this video, I would like to know. Until next time, guys, I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao! Mwah.